Hello everyone and welcome again to Bumby. Today I am also doing a tag. Uh, my apologies, V. This tag uh, was done by Designs by V, my friend here on YouTube. And uh, she tagged me on August 11th, guys. Yeah, I know. Sorry, V. But you tagged me in a moment while I was running around getting all the details ready for my niece's wedding. And then the wedding happened and then I needed a couple of days to recuperate and then cleaning the house and then all the challenges. And then I kind of forgot because um, I had you in my notes in the month of August. Then the days went by and I didn't grab um, the tag and, you know, added it to September. So anyways, last night I was going through my um, book and um, my calendar and... I realized that I had never done your tag. So again, my apologies for that, V, but let's get started here. This is a, a home decor tag. This is hosted by Living in the Country. Um, I guess um, V was tagged by Juanis from Juanis House in this home decorating tag, okay? But I guess who the person here on YouTube that created this tag is um, living it country okay so um, I was tagged at the end of this video I am going to go ahead and answer the question and then tag a couple of youtubers at the end of this video okay so let's start Question number one do you own or rent I currently live with my father and we rent Question number two, what state do you live in? I live in the state of California in the southern part of the state, about uh, eight miles north of the San Diego County line. What is the exterior style of your house? This is a ranch house. It's a 1950 condo. Question number four, is your home a fun fixer upper or a newer home. This is a fun fixer upper because this was um, actually built in the 1950s or late 40s. Okay, and then question number five. What style do you decorate your home? Okay, so I decorate my home in a country, a farmhouse, vintage style. Number six, who is your biggest Styling inspiration. Huh. Love Joanna Gaines. But I think that some of her projects are really hard. And it's really hard to get that stuff or do those DIYs. Like I don't have a handyman next to me. But I like her styles and her idea. And I think she's really sweet. And then I'm going to pick somebody here on YouTube that I love the style. Because, um... This person is more traditional and throws into that vintage style. And that would be my friend Zane from At Home with Zane. Love his style. Okay, the next question is question number seven. What is your favorite piece of decor in your home? My favorite piece is a piece that I found actually... Um, by the trash cans on trash day that somebody had thrown away. I travel around town in a golf cart and it's a cabinet and I took that cabinet and I put it in the golf cart and I drove it half on top of me over here into the garage. And then I thought, what was I doing? The cabinet looked like it was like pressed wood. Why would I be picking something up like that? Anyways, long story short, the cabinet was actually uh, shelf papered in wood. So when I started, you know, removing all that shelf paper, I realized it was, the cabinet was made in rustic uh, wood. So there was no glass on the door. So I went ahead and I put um, chicken wire. And I'll show you a picture of it right over here. So you can see that I chalk painted it and, um, in like a minty 
uh, turquoise light color and then a lighter color inside the shelves. So here's the picture so you can see. That's one of my favorite pieces. And I think it's because I found it and I was able to create it and make it look the way it does. Okay, next question. We were at question number eight. Where is your favorite place to buy decor? Thrifting. Thrifting. I don't go with any um, specific thing that I'm going to get. I already have measurements and I have walls and things that I already have ideas of what I want in those spaces. So I definitely surprise myself and I love to go estate selling and thrifting. Okay, number nine, new decor versus thrift decor. Definitely thrift decor. Number 10, goodwill decor versus garage sale decor. Well, that depends. I like to go thrifting, um, but I love to go estate selling because here is the retirement community and on the weekends it is full of estate sales and you can get really, really good deals on vintage and antiques and stuff like that. Okay, number 11. Decor steals versus antique farmhouse. Antique farmhouse, for sure. Number 12. Home good versus target decor. I would have to say I'm a target. I'm not really a home, home good person. So, yeah, I would say target. I would go probably before I would go to Home Goods. Twelve, Hobby Lobby or Michael Decor. I don't buy decor in any of these stores. Um, but if I guess if I would have to go buy some home decor, I would probably end up at Hobby Lobby. I think they have a bigger selection. Um, number thirteen would be Ross Decor versus TJ Maxx. Definitely Ross before TJ Maxx. Number 14, no, number 15, yes. Number 15 is online shopping versus store shopping. Um, store shopping. Number 16, spring decor versus summer decor. Well, basically, my spring and my summer decor is kind of the same. Maybe in the spring I'll add some Easter and then leave all the other kind of decors in the same tones in the birds and maybe just pick up the bunnies and then just leave whatever I did for spring kind of just flow into summer unless I have a specific summer um, style that I'm going to. Like this year I think I did a tablescape in the cherries instead of like sunflowers like I did um, other years prior. Okay, the next... Um, the next one is um, fall decor versus winter decor. I love fall decor, but I also am like obsessed with vintage Christmas decor. Yeah, and I have bins and bins and bins of it. So, yeah, I would say winter. And then HTV show favorites. Well, I watch a lot of uh, HGTV. Um, but some of the shows are getting a little boring, so I don't really watch it as much as I used to. Everything is flip or flop. Everything is buying a house, um, redoing the house, and then reselling it. I really miss the other shows, like Sabrina Soto would have a show, and she would have like a $500 budget, and she would have to like redo uh, certain parts of the house. Um, I love that design on the dime. That girl that would just have like, I think it was $50 budget and she had to like reuse the things in the room and repropose them and kind of do DIYs. Those kind of shows I really miss from HGTV. Uh, I think all the shows out there are all the same. They all tend to do the same. So it's getting a little boring for me. Okay, on to the next question. Um... What YouTuber inspires you the most? Oh my God, I have a lot of YouTubers that inspire me a lot. But I, I think um, 
at home with Zane. He inspires me a lot. I also love um, Diva Designing on a Dime, Kim. And some of these YouTubers, I sometimes don't even comment on their videos, but for sure I'm going to watch all their videos. Another person that I really, really enjoy is Joan Brody. Um, she inspires me a lot to run and go get do a tablescape because she's really good at doing that. Um, yeah, I also have a lot of other ones that inspire me as well. You know what? I just, I love Jade Money. She is an awesome DIYer and a sweet, sweet girl. Yeah. But you see, I also love La Latina next door. I love Yemilet. So, you know, there's so many of them out there. Yeah, a lot. But there are some of my favorites, actually. Let me see. Who are you going to tag is the next question. Okay, who am I going to tag? Okay, let me see. One, I'm going to tag Tammy Roberts. Tammy Roberts, you can tag. Next, I'm going to tag um, Patty Feb. Patty, you can tag. Let me see. Who else can I tag that probably hasn't been tagged in this uh, tag? Velvet Sunflower. Kim, you can tag. And let me see. Miss Alley Cat, you been tagged. And again, V, I'm so sorry. I apologize for not doing this tag sooner. Okay, guys, if you want to check out my friend Designer by V, her channel will be um, linked in the description box below. And I'll also link the person that created this tag here on YouTube, which is Living in the Country. Okay, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.